Lorreen Tuttle. Lorreen Tuttle was born on August 29, 1906, in Pleasant Lake, Indiana, and was raised on a ranch near the Arizona border. Lorreen took acting lessons in Phoenix while still a child. Feisty and naturally funny, she found work with Murphy's Comedians, a vaudeville troupe, then played traditional ingenues in a San Antonio stock company. Though she never appeared on Broadway, Tuttle was a busy stage actress throughout the 1920s and 30s. When stock work dried up in the Depression, Ms. Tuttle entered radio, where she became one of the busiest actresses in the business, playing everything from sugary high schoolers to hard-bitten gun malls. Tuttle began her career in radio, providing voices for many characters in the Sam Spade series. Many of her fans feel that her best radio work was as Effie Perrine, the effusive and efficient secretary on The Adventures of Sam Spade, in which Howard Duff played the private eye Spade. Also to her radio credits, she portrayed Nurse Judy Price on CBS Radio's Dr. Christian from 1938 to 1943, Marjorie Forrester on NBC Radio's The Great Gildersleeve during the early 40s, and provided voices on The Red Skelton Show, notably that of the mother of Junior, the mean widow kid. Concentrating on films and television as big-time radio faded, Tuttle played small character parts in several movies and was a regular on the TV sitcoms Life with Father, Father of the Bride, and Julia. One of Lorene's final performances was in the dramatic post-apocalyptic film Testament in 1983, in which she was reunited with Leon Ames, her Life with Father and Father of the Bride co-star. In private life, Lorene Tuttle was the wife of radio actor and announcer Mel Ruick and the mother of musical comedy actress Barbara Ruick. Lorene Tuttle died on the 28th of May, 1986, in Encino, California, and is laid to rest at Forest Lawn in Glendale, California, in the Whispering Pines section, lot number 1570. Information for this audio clip came from your audio series descriptions moderator, Roger Hohenbrink. This audio clip is provided by the Old Time Radio Researchers Group, a group of volunteers dedicated to preserving radio's past. If you are interested in assisting to preserve radio's golden past so that future generations might also enjoy it, we urge you to look into membership in the Old Time Radio Researchers Group. Visit our home on the web at www.otterprojectonline.info. I'm your announcer, 